Hey, Morgan here. And, uh, so is Bella. <laughs> Easy, girl. Easy. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, today is International Women's Day, and um, with that coming up, I figured it'd be a great time to pause for a second and just give thanks to certain people who have been very influential in my life, including this one. <laughs> hey, 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 yes, 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 I know, I know, I know, you count, you count too, you count too. There have been moments in my life w This is not going to be easy, I can tell. There have been moments in my life where certain things happened and I just didn't know where to go, where to turn to, and if it wasn't for these four, I wouldn't be here. I, I'm going to be honest, I just wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here continuously making videos, making you laugh, um, give you some very insightful stuff, being a storyteller. Um, it, uh, it really means a lot. It really does. Where to start? <laughs> um, Sarah, Star, if you're watching this, you were the first. You were the first. I. What? What? You know, when I first met you, I. It was. It was so interesting. You had such a strong-willed personality. This, you know, don't give up kind of attitude. And I just. That's. That's what I just loved about it. Um, and now here we are. It wasn't for me. You wouldn't have met Dan. Also, hi, Jacob. Hope you're doing okay. They, they recently had a kid in January, so... Uh, raising a family, uh, or marriage for that matter, has its journeys, but it does have its good moments, and I hope you and Dan and little Jacob are doing well and doing great. Uh, if it wasn't for you and your advice and your will to just be in the moment, stay, and just keep moving on. It's, it's helped me realize that things are not the end. Things can get better. Whenever the tough occurs, it's always important to just hang in there and just don't let go. That's, that's definitely important out of anything. And I, I can't thank you enough for that. And you've helped me out a couple of times well, I wouldn't say a couple, that's not a great word. Um, you helped me out quite a lot. No, quite's not a good line. You helped me out a lot. The, the title cards from season three to season five. Yeah, once in a while we'd have a moment where we'd have different ideas, but we would cooperate, we would do what we can. And there were some good ideas in the end. So I just can't thank you enough for that, your advice and telling me that life is is worth living for, because it does have its good moments in the end. <sighs> Melanie, <laughs> what can I say about you? You're amazing. You have such a creative style, a, a creative way of art. You have uh, incredible characters. You're just so optimistic and fun to chat with. It's been a little over a year, uh, you know, since I first met you, and it feels like a little more than just that. Um, just uh, you, you have so many interesting ideas, so many you know interesting concepts, and you know, moving forward, I just I want to see what you know we can do idea wise. Ever since uh, Sarah had a kid, um, I had Melanie as you know, uh, a current title card artist, and she's been doing some good stuff. Uh, really, really check her out, especially on her DeviantArt page, Twitter, for Affinity. She has some really amazing stuff. I always describe it as 
New York graffiti, but the kind I want to literally saw off on the wall and put it in a museum and stare at it for hours. There's an attitude, there's a personality, there's color to it. There's a character and an aura to it that I just really love. It's not overly cartoony, it's not overly serious, it's just perfect. It's just so perfect. It's so light, it's so cozy. There's something about her style that is just so unique to it. And I want to see what he can bring to the table. I, I really do. Um, I have you doing, uh, uh, you know, this current episode of Vaulting and Onward. And I want to see what he can do. I really want to see what he can do. Um, ever since you did that title card for Hello Dolly, the minute I saw that, I just like, it's, it's so perfect. It captures everything about the 1960s, how kitsch it was. That's actually probably my favorite title card so far to date. Um, until we get to Return of the Jedi in May. <laughs> Which is going to be a challenge. But that's the thing. I like to see artists go out of their uh, comfort zone and what they can do. And um, you definitely proven to me that you can go out of those boundaries. And I just want to see what is possible. So going forward, I want to see what you got. I'm really curious. Morticia O'Connor. Uh, met you back in October. Fun to talk to. Really fun to talk to. Uh, even though she's over out in Kazan, Moscow, she's big on American culture. She loves American culture. Her favorite show is The X-Files. She is so um, interested in like all the Marvel shows and the movies. She's big into comic books. Uh, she's just so really big in, like, uh, movies and television, um, and she's going into, uh, university to become a psychiatrist, and that is a very important thing about being a psychiatrist, is knowing certain people's niches, how they act, what they do, and I just, I think you really got it. I think I can see you being that kind of person, uh, just someone to pal around with, fun, even a healer. That when you know that niche, you know what that person's thinking, you just latch on to it and you help them out of it and such. Uh, back in November, her boyfriend's cat was very, very ill and needed surgery, and out of the kindness of my heart, I spread the word, I committed to some Your Character Here auctions and commissions to operate and get that cat alive, and it worked. Um, I just, you have such a playful attitude, you're really nice, you're really kind. I really hope everything out there works well for you, I really do. I can definitely see you as someone that is just perfect to sit down and talk with, you know, even if it's for like a lunch or just to kick back and let the day pass by. You're great what you do. You really are. And I hope you succeed in the field that you're working in. And you have a very unique style with your artwork. You are just great, just capturing the depth and emotion. I, I think it's great. And you always have great ideas, like uh, future things. And I want to see that come together, especially your character. I, I can't thank you enough. All of you are great artists, for crying out loud. <laughs> There's no bad apple of the bunch. You're, you're great. All of you. That leads me to my last person. Um, Scoffer. Who lives out in Kyrgyzstan, this uh, country that's over on the uh, trade route that borders uh, Asia and what can I say about you? You are beyond incredible. There are no words that describe your talent, your depth of focus, 
the detail you put into your work is so incredible. I seriously want to see this either in a, a museum, I want to see this published, um, you're going into uh, un the you're going to university to be a graphic designer and you show such great potential. I really don't know where to where to start or begin. Every single time I see a creature, a monster, or a character crafted by you, I just take one good look at that and say, that is Scoffer. That is her. The detail, the eyes, the way it looks, the fact you put a heart and soul into something that looks monstrous, but you can tell it has a heart to it. You're like the Clive Barker of illustrators, and that's saying a lot. It, uh, it really does say quite a lot. Just moving forward, I really want to see what you got. The creatures, the characters. Um, we're still working on illustrations for one of my novels, which I'm hoping it gets out either this year or next year. I know Art is, can be a, a, pro, a, a slow or quick process, depending on certain folks, but things take time, things take ease, and the more I wait, the more I get so excited to see what there is, because I really love what you do. The things that you've done, I cannot praise enough. It is a quality that achieves professionalism in the highest standards. And I can easily see you succeeding well in that field of a graphic designer. I just... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about you. I don't, I don't know what to say about anyone else. They're great in everything they do. Uh, personality, artwork, the field that they're currently in, the, the things that they're doing. There is not a single negative thing I can think about. That's a great thing. You four are my superheroes. You all have your powers. You all have your abilities. And I can't think of a single weakness. You are the muses of my life. And I can't thank you th for enough for it. And you too, Bella. You too. Come here. Yes, yes, you. Come here. Come here. Look. Listen, listen here. Listen here. Listen here. Come here. No, 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 no. I don't want to force you. I'd, that's, that'd be wrong. Listen here. When Maddie passed away, I was broken. I was empty. I was disheveled. And then comes this little thing right here. That's such a personality and an attitude to her own. Yes, you deserve a belly rub. You deserve belly rub. You've kept me... So many comp you, you kept me. You, you gave me so much company. You gave me so much love. I don't know where to begin with you. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, do it, do it, do it. Yes, yes. I love you too, Bella. I love you too. I'd lick you back, but this be weird on camera if I did it. Good girl. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's good. Internet. International Women's Day is more than just a day to, well, celebrate. For me personally, it's a day to think back to those that exist in your time that have helped out and influenced you. And I can't think... So much for poignancy. I've already said good things about you, Bella. It's okay. Wait until the cameras are done. Shh. It's a day to recognize those that have helped, influenced you, and got you this far in life. Because, well, without that other. Where would you be? Maybe there's someone out there that 
help you get this far in life. Not as a lover, not as a sniffing other, but just a friend or someone there to give you advice and to create something to say, hey, life is worth it. No matter what. And also, um, below the video and within here, I'm going to drop links to these people um, so you can check them out, see their art, and if you want to see a creation done by them, by all means, please do it. They would really appreciate your support and your help. They're fantastic people. I really think they deserve it. I, I really do. Because without them, this wouldn't exist. I'd just be probably some Joe Schmo at the DMV, just you know, slamming papers or denying licenses or something. Um, but you know, without them, they wouldn't help me continue to motivate me creativity, uh, creatively, and do all these ideas and different projects. So, with that said, um, again, if you are watching this, Sarah, Tesha. Melanie, Scoffer, if you are watching this, I just want to say thank you. A very, very sincere thank you. Because without you, I don't know what would happen. Because of you four, I'm standing here, and I'm saying how incredible you all are. Because you deserve it. You deserve credibility where credibility is due. You are amazing, fantastic, and all of you are so talented in unique ways that no one else could imagine. And I hope that going forward in life, I get to do more work with you, I get to talk to you more. Because I have the honesty to say, I am great friends with these four women. Because without them, I wouldn't have the spark in life to continue on do the things I love doing. And for all of you guys out there, if you know someone or a woman that has, or a lady or a friend that has motivated you, influenced you, or helped you out, give them thanks today. Because they really need it. This is their day. This is their moment. Give them that spotlight. Because no one else truly deserves it. No one. I'm Morgan Ledger, and until the next upload, happy International Women's Day, everybody.